die because it's been getting worse. Oh no. Alright, give me a second. By the way, it's 420. Oh boy. Are we alive? Yes, we are. All right. Hello, everyone. Once again, we are in Mystery Dungeon. So, Prague. Yes. Hello there. Hello there. Are you prepared for the journey? Uh, yeah. I don't mean the game journey. That is actually a really good, well-made game that is absolutely perfect. I never played it, never even saw it. Dude, you need to play it, seriously. You need to, okay, play, it I... you need to play it before they end the multiplayer servers for it. But hey, I finally installed Spyro. Oh, so after this we're gonna, uh, you're gonna be playing some Spyro and I'm gonna watch up? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Anyway. Prak. Do you actually know how to pronounce the name of your Pokémon? Uh, Draclog. Draclog, alright. So, Frack, you're about to enter the world of Pokémon, but a very different world of Pokémon from the normal world of Pokémon. This is a world of Pokémon where you will make friends and allies, where you will make rivals and enemies. It is a wonderful world, a cheerful world, but it is also dangerous and a little bit dark. Are you ready? Yes. All right. So, you're playing yourself, correct? Yeah. So, Frack. <laughs> Are you the dark, he says. <laughs> oh god, everyone is a dark ray. Oh god, everyone is a dark ray. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> dark, he says, to the ghost. I mean, he's weak to dark. Yeah. Anyway. So, Frack. I assume that you do go to bed every now and then. Yeah, for about four hours per day. Yeah, so, you know, you sometimes sleep. Yeah. Ghost triggered. Oh god. Ares, you know you can say this, right? Anyway. So. You, at some point, probably go to bed after... I don't know, let's say after work. You know, let's say it's Monday and you, you, you just, you know... You, you arrive home from work, and because it is Monday, you probably just like face planted and just fell asleep halfway, not even in the bed. Yeah. Aris is like, nope, not my intro. Aris, why are you such a butt? Anyway. But, speaking of butts. Eventually. So, could you describe your bed to me? Uh. It's grey? <laughs> no, no, I mean, how does your bed feel? Uh, I mean, it's kinda hard, kinda hard. Because I don't like soft beds. I actually really like soft beds, and uh, sadly the bed that uh, I have over here right now is not very soft. A few times I tried soft beds and I honestly prefer to sleep on the fucking floor. Really? <laughs> yeah. Horrible. Anyway. So, do you use like a blanket or something, or do, do you like cover yourself with something? Yeah. Alright. So, you remember, you know, falling asleep and probably covering yourself with a blanket or something. You know, I don't know what you are using. And, eventually, you feel a somewhat of a cold, not really cold breeze as much as your room is colder than it usually is. Hmm. And you're also pretty sure you are not feeling um, anything um, on yourself. You also hmm. remember. You also remember your moving uh, your your room not moving. Wait, moving? <laughs> yeah, it is very physically moving, almost rocking. Hmm. Yeah, that's unusual, even for Poland. 
Yeah, Poland is usually not rocking. I am pretty sure you guys don't actually get earthquakes. Because we will probably feel them too. Yeah, no, we don't. As far as I remember. as far as I know, no. Yeah, we are on the same tectonic uh, tectonic plate, so. Yeah. But yeah. How does uh, how how are you reacting to this uh, strange uh, new thing in your uh, vicinity? Uh, I open my eyes. You open your eyes. So, could you describe your ceiling to me? It's white. Well, when you open your eyes and you look up, uh, the ceiling is made out of wood, and you can see. Uh, uh, you can see steel-like uh, plates uh, in several places. Yeah, that's not normally there. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get out of the bed. So, you get out of the bed, and you realize that when you get out of the bed, um. You probably, you know, like, poke a little too far, you, you push too much, and instead of, you know, landing on your legs, you start floating. <laughs> That's horrified fucking expression. You're <laughs> also... <laughs> you're also not in your room. You're in an extremely small room when I say extremely small, um, you could probably fit like maybe two Americans in this. Hmm. Did I miss a memo about me getting into some shithole in Wyoming? <laughs> I thought sure you would get this. I don't know Wyoming. I've never been to Wyoming. Aris, do you know Wyoming? And Aris, Aris was quiet. He says Mebe. 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 Not even maybe, it's just Mebe. 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 <laughs> Me saying Mebe like that kind of sounds like that noise in uh, Doom when you pick up uh, an item. <laughs> Mebe. I always thought that it was a frog, like, uh, you know, when I was, uh, when I was much younger, I actually thought that the, the, the Doom guy is a frog. Oh my fucking god. I know. <laughs> I remember telling my dad about it, and he was, like, almost shitting himself. I bro can't believe my son is stupid. I guess, yeah. Okay, so... I yeah. look around the room. Yep, yeah, looking around the room. Again, it's mostly made out of wood. You are very visibly... The, the room is moving. Back and forth. Uh, there is a single door. No window, by the way. And uh, there is a table. Lots of shelves. Lots of boxes. You can even see a net on one of the walls. A net? Yeah, a net. Like a fishing net? Yeah, it kind of looks like a fishing net, yeah. You know, those are like, uh, with really small holes so that the fish can go through. What's on the table? Oh, on the table? When you look at the table, uh, you can actually see that there's, uh, all kinds of things, actually. There is a backpack. On the backpack, you can see a strange badge. Um, inside the backpack, you can also see that there is uh, some kind of map. Wait. <laughs> now, next to this is a strange, overcomplicated key made out of gold. Alright. When I say overcomplicated, uh, so you know what a key looks like, you know? Like, it's like, you hold it, it has like a thing at the end that you put in a lock, you, you, you twirl, and you unlock, yeah. right? Yep. Yeah. This one has like 10 of these. Ah. 
You can like extend it, you can make it smaller, you can make some of these uh, thingies, you can just, you know, put them in, into the body of the key. It's actually strange. Huh. Alright. It is at this moment when you realize that you don't have legs. And you have just, <laughs> you have, and you have just, like, tiny little uh, arm things. <laughs> no. You, so, oh you, you also have an incredibly big head. Ah, here's the classic. Where do you work out at library? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that was the best timing on the joke ever made. God. Man, my own body. It looks like fuck. I I I'm just gonna pick up the items. How how do I even put a backpack on? Well, weirdly enough, you can because you don't. You do actually have physical body. Yay! <laughs> but yeah, no. All you right, can, you, I'm gonna. Also, I do have to say, uh, when you pick up the backpack, uh, the badge on the backpack uh, resonates a little bit. I'm gonna poke it. Uh, you poke it, and it stops resonating. But it feels, uh, you definitely have a strange feeling of, uh, you know, just, just a good feeling, basically, for some reason. It feels right to have this backpack on. Oh. I'm gonna put them up and the, the lockpick key inside the backpack. Alright, uh, roll me inside plus alert, uh, plus survival. Alright, that's a four. You cannot be serious. Crack? Yeah? This is your first roll of the campaign. I know, right? And you had four die. And I got zero passes. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> I'm looking forward to 8 million spiders. But yeah, that, that's my role. Yep, you don't notice anything, so yeah. What do? Uh, Alright, I saw what's on the table. I'm gonna look at the shelves. The shelves, you just have like plates and uh, items that you do not know what they are for. You see a hook. A hook? Yeah, a hook that is connected to um, a little bit of rope. Not enough to really be useful. Though, uh, looking at the rope, you can tell that this rope is supposed to be, like, like roped to some, some kind of other rope. Ah, right. Do I see the other part of the fishing rod? Yes. I'm gonna take uh, both parts. Alright. So I have a hook, I have a spring, but where is the sinker? That you do not know. But yeah. You suddenly hear a knock on the door. I'm gonna slowly levitate towards the door. You hear another knock, this time louder. Hello? <laughs> hey, it's me. It's the captain. Is it alright if I enter? I'm just gonna open the door. No. I'm you open the door and you see a Pokemon on the other side. You see this Pokemon. Except standing on his back legs. I don't have a model for that, sorry. So, uh, you see... Uh, you see a Samurot. Uh, that has all kinds of scars over his body. And has an eye patch over one of his eyes. He looks you over, 
and with a smile, he actually says, So how was the night? Bumpy. I can imagine, considering it was uh, storming yesterday. Hmm. How are you oh. feeling? Uh, I'm good. Alright. Well, we can move to stage two of our plan. We have done our half of the deal, now you have to do yours. <laughs> right, the deal. Yes, the, the deal. deal. We what have let. The deal again? <sighs> he, he just sighs. Uh, why am I surrounded by? Anyway, you're gonna be going into the mis into the local mystery dungeon. We are like almost next to it, and you're gonna go inside and do the thing that the lady wanted you to do. All right. Are you all right? Are you sure you're all right? You look kind of strange. You know, I think I might have hit my head. No, I mean, with a, with, a head, with a head like yours, I'm not even surprised. Haha. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, I don't remember much. What do you mean you don't remember much? Uh... Don't think don't think that you can say that you lost your memory or something and you, you'll be able to get out of the deal? Getting you here was a, a lot of trouble. You know, I don't think getting out of the deal would be a good idea either way, because I don't even know where would I go. You're serious. I'm just gonna blink at him. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's actually serious. You cannot be serious. This is what I get for trying to work with you, guildies. Ugh. Anyway. I'm Captain Slash, and you are you are on on my ship. I'm gonna nod. We have taken you and one one another on a on a voyage uh, to uh, this here island. Now we both are here because of uh, a job for a certain uh, someone. That if you don't remember, then I should probably not tell you, because you might accidentally tell someone. Yeah, makes sense. But, long story short, your job is to get inside uh, the mystery dungeon, find a hideout at the end of it, find a Pokémon by the name of Shinx, and deliver Shinx here. A Shinx, eh? Yes. Alright. That is all you have to do. Just get in, find Shings, deliver Shings onto, onto our ship. Alright. How you do it is entirely up to you. The only rule is don't kill him. Sounds good. We are gonna be doing our half of the deal. We are gonna be finding the Vulpix in the meantime. So, do you understand? Yep, go in, get things, get out. Yes, this should be very easy for someone like you. Even if you don't remember, you should still... Your body should remember the the years of uh, being part of a guild. As much as I hate to say anything good about you, guildies, <laughs> you do usually fight pretty well. Alright. Any questions? Uh, you said there was other guy who came here? He uh, doesn't matter. Alright. He's been dealt with. Dealt with? Yes, dealt with. 
is being dealt with in the only way a traitor can be dealt with. Ah, a traitor. Alright. Aye. Right. It honestly doesn't even... I honestly don't even feel like mentioning him much, he was just a stupid grookey. There's hundreds of them out there. He's probably bleeding out in a ditch somewhere now. Ah, if he's a traitor then that's for the best. Aye. Uh, now that he you know, talks about this, you do notice that on his back, he does have what appears to be as two swords. Uh, long sword user shit. Yeah, uh, they are grey from one side and red from the other. Huh. Interesting swords you got there. He raises one of his eyebrows. What? That's my question. Doesn't that feel like it? Anyway, I'm gonna go outside and uh, get my crew ready for getting getting a Vulpix. You know, you know your job. So let's get to it. And he leaves through the door. Right, I'm gonna look at the Wonder Map. <laughs> All right, you you touch the Wonder Map and it actually unveils in front of you, floating. There's many yellow spots everywhere on the map. Ah. I don't remember what that means. Uh, it's basically yellow spot means that you have been to that location. Oh. Shit, I missed her worldwide. <laughs> yeah, you you know just calculating the spots. You have been to at least twenty eight different spots. So, it does only show what appears to be quite a few islands and like one continent. Yeah. So, I'm not exactly Mr. Worldwide, but you definitely are traveled. Alright. Also, also, when you unveil the wonder map, a scarf falls off. A scarf? Mm hmm. A red scarf. I'm gonna put it on. <laughs> Alright. If it was right to wear it. Alright. I'm gonna take a look at the wonder map to see if there's any dungeon with a quest marker on it. Uh, yes, there is one. I'm gonna assume quite close. Uh, according to the map, you are basically right next to it. Ah. Also, All right. uh, also, you're on something called Mantine Island. The fuck is Mantine? Oh wait, all oh, those things. All right, all right, all right. Now I remember. <laughs> I fucking forgot about Mantine. <laughs> but yeah, with that, I'm gonna nod to myself, close the wonder map, put it back into backpack. And get out of the room. Alright. So, you've probably seen a ship before in your life, correct? Yes. Now, you're pretty sure that ships are supposed to have some kind of go up thing, right? Yeah. But this ship doesn't really have that. You, are, you can only really find a way to go forward or down. Alright, that's fucking weird. Yeah, also, it is very uh, tight, you know, like... For someone like uh, Captain Slash or you, it must be, you know, it is a little difficult to move around. Shit. But yeah, eventually you do find what appears to be a staircase leading down, and you can see that there is a, you know, somewhat important looking door at the end of uh, several hallways. 
I'm gonna go to that door. All right. You make your way to the door, and as you are, you know, going to the door, uh, in a room that is connected to, to where the door is, um, you can actually see that there is another crewmate. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah. The crewmate is a lobster. Oh shit, it's a lobster. Yep. Oh god, it's this lobster. Yep. You can see a blue lobster uh, that is currently in the, in the process of eating what appears to be a tiny round cakes. Well, he will be eating, so I better not. Uh... What's that? What's that word? Uh... Shit! What's that word? <laughs> oh no, the Polish man. He has forgotten uh, words. Yeah, uh, I don't want to disturb. All right. So do you just wish to go through the door? Yes. All right. You go through the door, and you enter a bigger room. And this room um, has what uh, appears to be daylight uh, coming from the very end of the chamber. Oh. Yeah. The chamber, by the way, looks like a mouth. What the fuck? Alright, before going out of the mouth, I'm gonna go... Uh back down and I'm gonna go uh, staircase down all right you make your way uh, downstairs and you see a lot of cargo and you also see what appears to be three cages now they are empty but you definitely see cages yeah. down here you can actually see another Pokemon you see a Pokemon who is holding what appears to be a piece of wood Yo, Timur. Yeah, upon seeing you, uh, he turns to he turns towards you. He lifts his free hand and says, "Ahoy, ahoy!" Ah, you're the you're the guilty. Yeah. Ah, ah, sucks. What happened to your friend, eh? Yeah. Anyway, how how did you sleep? It was very bumpy. I can imagine. By the way, what you're doing down here? Sightseeing. Ah, you probably should not be doing any sightseeing. You might, you might just get stabbed like your friend. Hmm. Good anyway, point, good point. anyway, I assume boss gave you orders. Yep. Awesome. You excited hmm. about the new island? You better believe I am. Yeah. See, that shot actually shot at some kind of bird that was spying on us. It's gonna make... Bird. Yeah, gonna make that bird think twice before trying to spy on us again. That shot usually doesn't miss twice. <laughs> uh. That is... I better get to the dungeon. Aye. Oh, good luck out there. And good luck here. And not much uh, doing here. I'm actually about to leave myself. You're going to be getting that Vulpix. All right. And I'm going to go out. All right. Then why does it sound like I'm in a fucking slaver's shit? I don't know. I don't know, man. So yeah, you make your way back to the uh, chamber that kind of looks like a mouth. Is there anything inside its chamber? No, there's all kinds of machinery. No, you're pretty sure that there's like a big wheel that you're supposed to use to, uh, you know, close and open the mouth. You also find what appears to be a... Uh, like a thingy, like a staircase going up. Hmm. 
you know, I'm gonna go there, but just with my eyes going uh, above the floor level. Alright, so the main problem is um, when you get the, when you get to the ceiling, uh, there is like a like a thingy. There's like another wheel that you need to like twirl in order to open uh, the ceiling. Hmm. Ah, that might be too loud. It's a oh a, a valve is the word I was looking for. Ah, uh, wait a fucking moment. What? Am I in a fucking submarine now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go out. Uh, which way? Through the mouth. All right. So you float through the mouth, and the first thing that hits you is the uh, daylight. Also, the smell of the ocean and the sight of palm trees and a beach. All right, beach, uh, smell of the ocean, daylight. Yeah, I remember those. But palm trees. Yep, there are palm trees everywhere. Yeah, outside you can actually see Samurot, uh, very obviously waiting uh, for the rest of the crew. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get closer to him. Uh, he just nods in your general direction. I'm gonna nod to him as well. Then I'm gonna look at the wonder map once again to see which direction the mystery dungeon is. Well, you're pretty sure it's actually a cave that is like slightly beyond the beach. I'm gonna start floating there. Alright. Oh, by the way, one thing that you saw outside was one of the cages was actually outside. Ah, the cage for a Vulpix. Yes. All right. But yeah. So, Dr uh, Draclog. Yes. You you are now standing or floating in front of an entrance to the cave. There's a totem that kind of looks like Pidgeotto in front of it. And there's a lot of signs uh, around the entrance. All right. What do the signs do? Say. Uh, you don't know, because they seem to have feet on them. Ugh. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, there's all kinds of, like, uh, paw prints. What's with Nintendo and feet? I don't know. Oh, they hired fucking Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> so anyway, I would like uh, this uh, scene... To have a big zoom on her feet, you need to make sure that she's barefoot. It is extremely important for the uh, for the story to unfold the way my vision dictates. Yeah, and to make it even better, I want her to step on me and make me lick her toes. Good session. Good session. Uh, yes, but yes, I'm gonna poke the statue. It doesn't do anything. It is just a statue made out of wood. I'm just gonna shrug to myself, and I guess I'll enter. Alright, give me a second. Alright, I'm sorry. I was invaded. Oh boy. I need to kill the Chaos Jester. Ah. They infiltrated the Royal Pal Palace again. Oh, yep. <laughs> anyway. So you wish to enter the Mystery Dungeon? Yeah, I guess. Alright. Let's fucking go. So, you enter something that it almost feels like weirdly natural for you to enter one of these. Right. Even though you've never been to one before. I would like you to choose a tile. 
That is literally not a tile. <laughs> Yo, lucky stars! Welcome. Anyway, so the tile needs to go in the middle. Uh, you can twirl it in any way you want. Ah, this is good. Okay. This is this is where you are. So the dungeon is mostly a cave. Lots of rocks and stones everywhere. And Lots you stone. and you can see that there's lots of fungi and uh, lichen and uh, grass and you know it's all, uh, you see, the Wonder Map actually referred to this place as the Overgrown Cave. Ah. Does it ring any bells? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it does. Okay. Does it actually, by the way? Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember that from uh, Explorers. Okay. Yo, Blaze, welcome to the stream. Everyone is showing up. I'm yeah. pretty sure there, there we found and immediately left uh, one uh, named similarly to this in uh, in our uh, other poker roll. Do not worry about yes. it. How many overgrown caves are there in this? Yes. Universe? Anyway. So yeah, uh, your guild seal. Well, you do not know it's a guild seal, but uh, your badge uh, seems to be vibrating, and it makes a noise. I'm gonna poke it. It doesn't do anything anymore. <laughs> Did I get the fucking pager? That's it. That's kind of what the, it, it's a magical pager, basically. Yes. <laughs> anyway, oh what to do? I move. Where? Uh, to the north. Well, I can only move you right now because you're in the middle. So I love how now it's not broken. Alright. Okay, so find the tile. And we'll move it a little more precise. Boom. First step. Boom, boom, boom. Oh boy. So yeah, uh, I can actually describe what this is to you. So this area... You could before. Oh yeah, I could. <laughs> Oops. So these uh, spaces, right? These are actually rock formations that you need to destroy with strength. Check. No, right. Well, it's strength and brawl, but I'm pretty sure you don't have any brawl. Yeah. I have five, though. Yeah, so yeah. What do you want to do? I go east. You're going east? Yes, I'm going east. Then find me a tile. Ah, yes, a hole. I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so this is your tile number two. You know what that means. Uh, it's a two. Well, we are doing this early. Uh, roll me a d6. Oh my god. Six? Oh, here we go again. Alright, roll me another d6. Uh, another d6, alright. Five. Are you sure it, it was five? Uh, while I was rolling, I accidentally pressed this on 2d6s and 2d6s went 5. So it is double, it's literally super 5. Yes. Wow, we are doing this early. I This might actually be more unlucky than DJ's. <laughs> Alright. Alright, give me a... Uh... God, uh, give me a moment. Where did I put the thingy? Oh, there it is. Okay. So, congratulations. Uh, you spawn enemies. Oh, fuck. And by enemies... You mean the boss? I mean the boss. Oh. You see, one 
fucking Ariados. By the way, this is what Ariados looks like, if you do not know. Oh god, yeah. Notice, uh, notice the, the size of it. Yeah, it, it, that motherfucker is bigger than me. <laughs> Aris is like, oh no, be ready to run, Frack. Yeah, don't worry. <laughs> this activated my flight or fight response, <laughs> and it is fly. Alright, so now the tile movement is actually important. So, what do? Uh, I go here. Alright, give me a second. That's move. And I go here. Alright. That means Aria just gets to move. Okay, I need to roll for it. Wow, you almost failed it. <laughs> Fucking hell. With so many die. He makes it over. <laughs> DJ got messed up by this thing's child, yeah. Um, uh, I'm just gonna say oof. Alright, uh, Frag, what do? Oh shit, Finn, I'm resistant to bug. Yeah, resistant but not immune, correct? Yep. And this is still a boss. Yeah. yeah. But that, that might just save you, by the way. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm gonna try something on the... Uh, you know, just to not accidentally give him an, uh, a way to me, I'm just gonna go west. Okay. Remember, you need to be a little gentle with it. If you can, if you can manage that. It might save you, but it won't help you beat it. <laughs> it's alright, how much HP can he possibly have, right? Alright, you make your way here. Tile 3, move, move. Uh, Alright, what, what do, Frack? Uh, Man, this is getting exciting really early. Uh, west again. Alright. Whoa! Oh, shit. Whoa! Alright, so you go here and roll me a d6. Here we go again. It's a five. Five is... Random event. Roll me a d6. Five. Okay, give me a second. I need to check on my phone what is five. Oh, that is an actual random event. Also, Finn, I just want to say I rolled four... F uh, sorry, five fives in a row. That's kind of cool. Uh, roll me another d6 to see what random event this is going to be. Like, actual event. Four. Four is... Oh! Oh, that's useless. <laughs> kind of fitting place for it, though. So, give me a second. Event location. Uh, let's put it, like, in the middle. So, you enter here, and you can actually see that there is a statue here that has flowers growing around it. A statue of what? Uh, it is a statue... Give me a second. It is a statue of Celebi. Oh! I remember it though. <laughs> yeah! The problem is, you have nothing to sacrifice to it. You know, I'm gonna give it a cook, because, uh, remember, uh, give man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach man how to fish and he sweat for entire life or some shit. Alright, so, uh, you give it a hook. <laughs> the hook vanishes. The eyes of the statue light up. <laughs> and then... On the place where you put the hook, is suddenly an apple. Oh. I'm gonna nod to the statue and take it. And oh. then I'm gonna once again start running the fuck away from a really big bug. But you see, 
Aria just now makes his move. He coming. Thankfully he, thankfully he can't find the tiles. Nope. Only enemy teams can. Yep. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna <laughs> be going the same fucking direction. Alright. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, wait, I'm flying. I no, no, no. no. These are rocks in the way. Basically, these oh. are like tunnels. So no, you actually have to break through these rocks. And you can imagine, because these are more far away, they are more difficult. What do? Move back. <laughs> Alright, you move back into the tile. That means Ariados gets to move. What do? Find the tile. Oh! Alright, okay, now wait. it's flying. You are floating! Yes! <laughs> I'm saved! Okay. So first, uh, roll me a d6. It's a 5 again. <laughs> Alright, roll me another d6. 1. Okay. Okay, roll me a d6. One. Okay, um, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, they're gonna be this one, so... Roll me a d6 and I'm gonna roll d6 for Ariados. Uh, two. Alright, so, big wins! Suddenly pick up through the entire cave. They pick you up. They pick up the Ariados as well. What was your number? Uh, two. One, two. They push you here. One, two, three. They push Ariados here. He, that, those motherfuckers. <laughs> Alright, uh, I start running again. Oh, you need to move on to this tile first. Yep. Um, that is Ariados' move. Oh boy, he coming! You can see him! I fly onto this side. <laughs> okay! What do? Uh, find a tile. Okay. How do you like my map? I don't even know what this is. You can still see Ariados, like, uh, on, on the other side, you know, over the chasm. Yeah, I'm just gonna fly over here. Okay. What do now? Uh, find a tile. Oh, that's a normal tile. It's like this tile, but less cancer. I know, right? All right. Romeo D6? Uh, 6. Oh, finally! Okay, Romeo D6 for direction. Oh boy. Oh, oops, wrong number. Uh, 6. Uh, that's a reroll. Uh, 1. That is north. And now another one for di distance. 6. That's a reroll. 4. That's four tiles. F uh, pull a tile out. Okay, let go. One, two, three, four. Now you know where the objective is. Wow. Okay, where do I have a bit? Oh no, did I like accidentally delete objective? Well, Fudge pickle. Um, uh, I am going to use this for now. Yes. Oops! I just tried to delete the flag for the objectives. I'm smart. Uh. 
So, what do now? Uh, try to go to objectives. Actually, first, Aria just has to jump. That is how many failures? So, um, on the other side, you know, where Ariados was from there, you can hear Ariados going, Wahaaaaaa! <laughs> he just went Mario. He, he just took three damage, by the way. Oh, so he fell on his stupid fucking face? Yes. Nice. Alright. So yeah, <laughs> give me a second, I'm, uh, I'm editing his uh, stats. Wow. So many die and he only had one pass. Man. Alright, what do? Uh, as I said, try to go north. <laughs> Aries is like, eat shit, Ariados. I mean... He's a bug type, so he probably doesn't have much HP left. Yeah, bug types tend to have very low HP. Alright. You are over here. Give me a second. That is tile 9. Boom, boom. Continue. If I'm gonna feel spicy, I might just start going after him. If only that could have happened with DJs. I know, right? Okay. Alright, you are making your way here. First things first, tile. Roll me d6. Three. Okay, give me a second. Oh, that's treasure. Roll me d6. Uh, one. That's north, and how far? Uh, one. <laughs> oh, uh, find a tile. Well, no. that's that's annoying. It has to be here, by the way. Fuck. It has to be here. It has to make con connection sense. Well, <laughs> that's that's a little bit screwed you over. All right, now Arya does moves. Give me a second. And the treasure is here. Now Arya does moves. I hope he's not going to kill himself, because if he kills himself like this, you, you will lose on XP. And he did! Oh boy, he coming! Alright, so you're in a chamber that has uh, rock formations on two sides and quite a climb in front of you. I'm just gonna float. Oh my fucking god, I forgot you can <laughs> float. You can float. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. Alright, give me a second, that's a move. Alright, what now? To the chest. Do you wish to pick up the chest? Yes, I wish to pick up the chest. Then pick it up. Uh, where's your inventory? Yeah. Okay, I'm a little bit zoomed in. Because of stream. Alright, that was another move. That means Arya just gets to move. Oh boy, he coming. Oh, she actually, sorry. Oh, load, he float! Alright, what do now? Uh, I'm gonna try to find the tile. Wow! Wow! <laughs> Just <laughs> fucking wow! What are the I... chances? <laughs> Am I gonna corner myself out <laughs> and I will have to fight Ariados? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, those are two dead ends. Right after each other. Alright, what now, buddy? Uh, tile. Oh my god, it's not a dead end. God, if you got three dead ends, that would be impressive. Alright, roll me a d6, by the way. Mm-hmm. Right. Six. Uh, that doesn't actually do anything, so nothing happens. Now, we are on tau 20, that means I roll something. 
Oh no. Oh boy! It's fucking happening again. I swear there's another monster here, guys. Here, give me a second. I'm gonna... So over here, you can see that there's uh, enemies. And it is... Two Spinarachs! Uh, do I have Spinarak? Have I actually spawned Spinarak? No, I need to spawn Spinarak. Give me a second. Alright, two Spinaraks are blocking your path. They look angry. You, you, you have attacked their mother. They will defend their mother. I didn't attack their mother, she attacked herself. They are, also look at, out of this. they are also looking at you, they are like, hmm, looks tasty. You look tasty. And very fucking small. That's funny coming from someone with such a big head. Ben, did he say hat? Head. Had? Head! Alright, head. God damn it, Frack. Hmm. <laughs> the, boy, the objective totally still exists. They totally didn't send us uh, here just to be spider food. <laughs> so yeah, what we'll do? Your, your your path is blocked by the double spinnerack action. Spinnerack on spinnerack action. I'm just gonna look at them and float over here. To this you cannot corner. because that's actually where the ah! rocks are. Fuck! I forgot. Fuck. They, they look ready to fight. Uh... Aris is like, hey man, your dead ends need more dead ends. <laughs> ah yes, I can't believe you got two dead ends. What's <laughs> another dead end in form of fucking spinner rocks? Uh. Mm. So what do? You are pretty sure that uh, Ariados is probably by now following you, by the way. So you are technically not on infinite time. Uh, I'm gonna astonish one of them. Uh, you can only do that in, in combat. Wow. What do you mean I can only do combat moves inside a combat thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair. That's illegal. I mean, otherwise, you know, you will have to allow me to, uh, both of them to poison sting you. Outside no. of combat. No. Oh god, they have poison. Yes, they are spinner eggs. They start with poison sting, uh, po poison sting, and they have like eight different poison moves as they oh, level up. You, you, oh wait, all right, I'm resistant to poison. For a moment, I was like, wait a moment, is poison like one type I don't give a fuck about? But, but no, that's steel. <laughs> yep. And flying. That's ironic because there's no flying Pokemon here. Uh -huh. This is, uh, is this where you're gonna die? Fucking Gro want... Grookey made it. And Grookey, you know, was fucking debuffed because I forgot about mechanics. <laughs> okay, are you telling I... me you cannot do what a monkey could do? I want to engage combat. Are you sure? I mean, another thing would be do one move to clear out the path. Do second move to go to this part, and they would just go to me. That is a good point. And if I would... I mean, I could go here, but that would be one move, two moves. Ugh. Yeah. You know you, what, you, I'm gonna... Are you sure you want to get sandwiched? 
Uh, I'm just gonna find a tile. Another dead fucking Anyway, anyway. Thing. So you were here, right? Yeah. And you moved here. Yep. That's one move. Moving here. That's another move. All right. Spinarex. Move here. Ariados doesn't actually need to roll and climb. Yeah, because it's a fucking spider. Yep. So, what do now? Oh, Polish wait, man. He doesn't roll for climb, he just goes over yes. us. Yep, it's it's his it's a spinner again Ariados ability. Huh. Alright. Uh I found the tile. <laughs> Yo, this might Oh wait, no. Fuck. You can uh, let you know what? I'm just gonna put it here. Okay. You do know you have to move into it, right? Yep. Alright. That is the tile. And move. I'm gonna find another one. <laughs> wow. Wow. That might as well be a dead end. What the fuck? <laughs> Romeo D6, buddy. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's a two. <laughs> oh, no! Oh, Romeo D6, maybe it's gonna be monkeys. Uh, five? No, it's not monkeys. Roll. And six. Are you serious? Yes. No, you are not serious, right? I am. Are you sure you don't want to reroll that one? Uh, yeah, I'm <laughs> Cause that's another Aria, those. It's another six. No! Well? So we are over here, and as you enter this chamber, hoping that it will save you, it's another fully fresh Aria, those. You have to be fucking kidding <laughs> So, how unlucky was DJ? Pretty unlucky, but not this unlucky. The monkeys were all eaten by spiders, I told you before. <laughs> you know, at this point, yeah, fucking cannon. Oh yeah, by the way, um, there are moves now. So what do? All right, one move here. Okay, give me a moment. You better think about your next move very carefully, <laughs> because if you fuck it up, all three of these will fight you at the same time. And I honestly don't think you can survive that. Well, I'm just gonna say my... Uh, uh, my damage... Is... Minimum of one... And maximum of three per move. Well... What do? Oh wait, no. oh yeah, but fuck, that doesn't help with damage. Shit. Uh, I'm gonna try to dig? Alright, uh, roll me... Uh, give me a second, what do you roll for this again? Uh, roll me strength plus uh, fight plus brawl. Ah yes, free die. I was rolling 4, 5, and 6 constantly. Surely I'm gonna get passes on this. This is where you should use your will, will say, uh, your will, by the way. Don't 
right, two passes. Uh, uh. Alright, I have three passes and zero will. Okay, you made it! And that's a move. Also, I love how I used my will to reroll a boss into something else, and I rerolled a boss into a boss. Yep! It didn't fucking matter. Alright, so this are right, those moves here. This spinner axe move here. This area those moves here. They're hounding your ass. What do? Move here. Alright. <laughs> Fly here. Yo, you just look them away here. <laughs> Galaxy brain. God. Anyway, that was a move. Yeah. Alright, they move. I move here. Okay. You see the celibate statue. I'm just gonna not do it. You and I'm gonna move here. You feel celibate wishing you good luck. <laughs> Alright, there's the move. There you go. So first, two spinner eggs. Please make them die, God. <laughs> Alright, so they're actually in an awkward situation of being halfway there and halfway not. What? One is here and one is here. Oh my god. Okay, Ariados enters the here, and this one goes here. Alright. What do? Uh, I'll try to cross. Okay, where? Uh, that would be a 4, right? Yes, that is a 4 difficulty. Uh, this one? That is 2 difficulty. You know, I'm gonna attempt the 2 difficulty. Okay, thankfully this doesn't actually hurt you if you fail, it just, you know, stops Slows you. you down. Uh, good, because I got zero passes. Yep, nothing happens, it counts as a move. Okay! I'm what? gonna try again. Let's go! I got one pass. Not good enough. Alright. Counts as a move then. <laughs> yep. Also. The spider squad uh, tries to cross. Spinner axe first. Wow! Okay, Ariados. Ariados made it! Fuck. And this Ariados moves here. Look at this style! Yeah. <laughs> that is no bueno tile. This is where you need that wand, the uh, orb that lets you shoot uh, across tiles. Uh, oof. So yeah, what do? Uh, I'm gonna try to dig again. Alright, go, go, go. Two passes. Yes! Which, uh, you, you were going here, right? Yeah. Okay, you are there. What now? Tile. Yes! Alright, give me a second. That is tile. And move. They follow. Aridos goes here. Spenarex attempt to uh, unfuck themselves. And they are, they are through. And Ariados goes as well. Let's see. He's dead. <laughs> He's gone. He's fucking dead. He just died to fall damage. <laughs> Serves you fucking right. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm clapping. This was... 
This was the best usage of terrain I've ever seen in Bokero. Because you Why? you facilitated the fact that they are not amazing at at like jumping because they are kind of fucking spiders. They, they are jumping spiders, but not these ones. Yeah. And uh, yeah, you fucking basically just got some of them hurt and killed. So what now? Uh, style. No! Don't worry, I can fly. Oh, you can fly! I, 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 will, I will fix it. There we go. Okay, give me a second. Uh, row D6, by the way. Oh, yeah. In before another two. Alright, it's three. Uh, three is treasure, row me a D6. Uh, five. That's a reroll. Five. That's a reroll. Uh, three. Three is south. And roll d6. Two. Well, um. Well, that is a little awkward. I know, right? Because the treasure chest is back here. Hey, but I get it? <laughs> well, there's not gonna be any later. Yeah. No, like seriously, do you wanna go get it? Uh, no. Okay. What? What now? Uh, fly up. All right, you float. They move. I already got one environmental kill. Sadly, it doesn't count as your kill. Ah, oh, fuck. Not now. Alright. I cross. Alright. Let's move. Alright, you have one difficulty strength check. Go. I'm gonna put this uh, here so you can see your character. I got one pass. That is enough. You make it onto the tile. That means you find a thingy. You did it. You survived. <laughs> you had two bosses. You got one killed indirectly. <laughs> Alright. So. Prak. Yes. You are finally done with this spider hell. You, 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 you round the corner and you find uh, an area that looks very out of place. You know, it doesn't look like the rest of this place. Uh, for instance, there is a big door that seems to be, you know, pretty strengthened, right? And it has a symbol on it that looks like the strange badge that you have that sometimes vibrates. But more, uh. but more importantly, in front of this door, you see a green monkey that looks like he's barely alive. I'm gonna look at the monkey. Yep, the monkey is currently using uh, some kind of wooden like stick and hitting a door. While also holding its belly because it seems to be really sick. It is also bandaged up. Ah. <sighs> Visibly size. What do? I'm gonna approach the monkey. And this is where we end the session. <laughs> but I was fast. <sighs> you know, compared to DJs. God. Mine was faster. Well, yeah, yours was the fastest, but uh, compared to DJ's, which took almost four hours... Actually, no, actually more than four hours. Yeah, Holy guacamole. Also, yeah. your dungeon was, like, so much smaller than DJ's. DJ's was, like, across this entire thing. <laughs> oh, I know. My first dungeon in Chilling Adventure was massive. Yeah, by the way, Aris's uh, dungeon was this big. Just, uh, like, five tiles. What? Maybe six. Uh, was it five or six? I think it was six. Yeah, yeah, it was like six tiles. He literally, he literally just 
he went into like the first fucking place. He wrote. He 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 found. He found Shinx. Completely by accident, by the way. And then he went to the next place. He wrote six. It was like r next door. He just went there and won. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No combat. No like. No game. stress. No stress. The most stressful thing I had to overcome was a jump. Yeah. I had to jump over one of the one of the, the pits. pits. Yeah. yeah, one of the reverse pits. So, uh, Blaze says, uh, uh, that monkey has truly been through so much, yes. Also, that monkey is still possibly dead, because, you know, it is still poisoned, and, you know, outside of combat, poison is weirdly slow, but, you know, if he doesn't get treatment, he will die in a few hours. God, imagine dying next session for DJ. God. Now, DJ thankfully knows a friendly Kadabra that can actually uh, heal him. But yeah, Frag, what did you think? Fucking spiders. Alright! God, that fucking RNG gave me brain aneurysm. Yeah, your RNG was both terrible and kinda amazing. Uh, I'm just gonna say my only amazing roll was uh, here when I actually rolled a 6. But yeah. Uh, by the way, you do get 2 XP. You don't get the XP for the boss, which is a little sad because that was a level 15 boss. I mean, there's another boss right there. Do you wanna kill him? Do you wanna go kill him? <laughs> no. Like, uh, he... Uh, he would have at least 5 HP, right? I don't know. I mean, okay, I know, but like, I couldn't tell. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, so what do you think about uh, the intro? What do you think about the totally ship wink wink? Yeah, uh, now I'm wondering, yo, why did my guy... Uh, Go with like slavers or fucking slave traffickers before. Was I thought was this guy a horrible person? Who knows? You vote to find out. I mean, he was a guildmate, so obviously he wasn't that bad, right? Uh, then you know that I know that like half of the guilds are just fucking mafias. Yep. <laughs> So, I'm gonna go somewhere, and they are gonna be like, Yo, look at this fucker. He's, one, a ghost. Second, a guildy. And three, he was working with slavers. Yo, fuck this dude. I mean, to be honest, uh, would you say that the Harftown uh, guild was a mafia? No. You see, it's because they are small. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so I need to go to somewhere where they either don't have uh, a guild, or have a really small guild. Alright, noted. But yeah, uh, like I said, make sure you take a picture of your fame. Uh, remember, you do get to XP. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually free, because I have the perk. <laughs> oh yeah, you get 3 XP! Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> are these no, are you okay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright, so next time we are going to be dealing with Ember. By the way, Ember, uh, I don't know if you are still watching, but your intro is almost entirely written. I just hit a little bit of a block on it, and I don't know how to get over it. I will eventually get over it, I promise. Uh, also, you are the only person who actually has food. Really? Yeah, no one else has food. Psych. I also have a treasure chest that I can open. Well, I actually believe someone else... Yeah, 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 uh, Aris has treasure. But can he open it? I don't know, Aris, yes. can, can you open it? Yes, I have a chest cracker. Yeah. Oh, you too! <laughs> Man, why do we have two chest crackers? 
Hey. Because we didn't coordinate our CPs at all. Yep. Shit, man. Ah, chest record is just three points. Yeah, can't wait to see Ember's event. Whoa. What the fuck was that noise? <laughs> the fuck was that noise? <laughs> Me playing with my puppy. Okay. Oh shit. If if I knew I could have gotten for a wand. I mean, okay. I also got a wand. Okay, okay. So if you want to remove your chest cracker, we can still like do that, you know. You know, contact me about it, you know, later after the after we are done with this bullshit. Oh, by the way, uh, Frag, do you want a little spoiler? Nah. It's not gonna tell you anything because I'm pretty sure you didn't actually play the game. But I am gonna play something. Right. Uh, listen to this. Why do I need to load it? You know, this is the music for uh, the next chilling adventure session. I mean, I do... I cannot even tell you what it's from. Battle between oh. outsiders. Hmm. With your fighting, Missy. Uh, Lucky Star says I could remove mine in exchange for an extra ability or move, probably. Again, contact me and you know, we can talk about it, man. But yeah, don't worry, you know, like if you do not know what this music is, that it's not a spoiler, but it, it is gonna be very important um, in a session uh, tomorrow. Hey, since three out of four of us are here, I should also mention I have a safe house, so. If you also chose that. <laughs> yeah, Ar Ar Aris is a safe house. It's a really nice safe house, isn't it a tree? Hmm. But yeah, I'm gonna stop the music before people actually realize what this means. I couldn't even hear it. Oh. Well, because mostly because I was listening into the audio from here and I didn't want to hear... So Frag is the only one who knows, and he doesn't know. <laughs> well, I know it doesn't mean anything fucking good. That's what I know. Yeah, next uh, chilling adventure is gonna be really cool, and I hope you guys are gonna be ready to fight, because I am 99.99% .99 sure you will not be able to deal with the next obstacle without fighting it. Hmm. Because uh, the individual you're going to be fighting, uh, while he can definitely be talked down, uh, he's going to be holding all the aces, so there's no reason for him to talk, be talked down. Mm. Ah, and, Pikachu. Well, yes, I'm obviously talking about the Pikachu. Oh, did you for, did you forget about you know, the, the whole Zora bullshit? No, don't worry, I didn't. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, in reality, I guess then, uh, if he cares about the Zorora at all, he doesn't hold all the aces. If you knew who he is, you would know he doesn't. Adolf Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my god! He just like, he just looks at you, <laughs> he grows a funny moustache, and he's gonna be like, Ah, yes, it's time to prepare the gas chambers! This Pokemon will pay for me not getting into the art school. <laughs> oh my fucking god. This is the most cursed stream I have done in a while. Anyway, fuck it. Uh, just fucking table flip. Just do it. <laughs> uh, Alright, bye bye everyone on stream. Bye bye. Bye.